am so excited for this men's discus final. It's super competitive. I'm going to take you through all of the 12 athletes. This is Brian Williams of the United States. He was third at their national championships. Delighted to represent his nation here in the final in Budapest. This is Connor Bell, who's a three-time national champion from New Zealand. He benefited from the overnight removal of a mark from Sweden. Simon Pettersson. Pettersson's mark was deemed a foul. And that opened the door for Connor Bell to slot into this final. Henrik Janssen in his first global final representing Germany. This is Matthew Denny of the United States, who was fourth in 2021, won the Commonwealth Games title last year, second at the recent London Diamond League, so carrying good form here into this competition. It's Travis Smuthel of Jamaica, who's first at their national championships, and over Frederick Dakers is here as well. Dakers on paper the better athlete, but he couldn't win his national title. Andrus Gudges was third last year in Eugene, won the World Championships in London in 2017. He's not quite shown that form this season, but you can't really write off someone that's been on a global podium twice. Here is the second Jamaican, Frederick Dakers, second in Doha in 2019, ninth last time round in Eugene. And this is... Alex Rose of Samoa, the new Oceanic record holder, a huge throw back in April, 70-39. Lucas Weisheidinger of Austria up next. He took the bronze medal at the Olympics in 2021, and he has improved. Last year, a bit of a blitz, just 10th in Eugene, but he's gone out to a new national record, number four on the world list, 70-80. 68. Miklas Alekna became the youngest man ever to go over 71 metres. It was a silver medal in Eugene, a gold against a very similar field in Munich at the European Championships. He's going to face some all-time greats as he approaches the throws here in Budapest. Daniel Stoll, world lead number two, but he's the reigning Olympic champion. His fourth place in Eugene. Swede will be desperate to get back on the podium. The final athlete in this 12-man final this guy, Christian Che of Slovenia, he is the world leader with his 71-86. He's been consistent. He's won a lot of the Diamond League competitions against the other. Our first look at Christian Che in the men's discus final. The defending champion, he's got <laughs> so the gold bib on his front as defending champion and the green bib on his back as the world lead. So that's just short of the 70 metre mark. He has said his strength has improved this season and he does feel like his technique isn't quite as reliable as he'd want it to be, but that happens when you make advances in different parts, different elements of your physical capabilities. They don't always totally align. <laughs> Just like that, though, punches the air because it's an early lead, 68-31 for the Slovenian. You might have another race to run. Andreas Gudges into the circle. Good, 65-23, and no one's really blown this field apart so far. Che with the 68-31, best of the part at the moment. Good, yes, it's not going to put him any much higher up. Looking for an improvement on 65-95 from his opening round effort. It's an inspired bronze for him in Eugene last time out. Love the fact it's there. It was a top five European, European athletes in Oregon, and they all went head to head again in Munich, and it was just totally different results. It's so hard to tell how these men are going to compete, and it's been similar this season 66 16 for Goodyear. Christian. Back to Christian Che in the men's discus. You just hear the voice I say slightly there of uh, Jenny Meadows. We have got a dedicated discus throw stream. If you do love discus, you can. Flip over to that, have that on a separate screen and not miss a second of it. That championship record line out there does belong to Christian Che. He's got the leading mark so far in this competition. 68-31 as he extended his lead here. It looked very close to the 70-metre mark. He's dancing around there on his toes on the edge of the board. Christian Che, in, in sort of normal life, he's very quiet, he's very polite, but he put him in a discus circle and you unleash a beast. 69-27 for Christian Che. That's enough for the lead at the moment. Denny throwing very well for Australia. He's in second. 
Daniel Stahl, uh, 6301 in the first round. That's not good. If he can get a good one here, that will relax the Swedish Olympic champion. If he doesn't, he's got just one round left to churn out something good. You've got to get in that top eight if you want a further three throws. And Daniel Stahl, he looks a bit concerned here. A good measurement to take the pressure off himself. The more pressure you carry into a discus, the tighter your shoulders are, the less of a, a lever you lose that long, long lever of your arm. You want that far back, you want your shoulders open so you can whip that discus across your body. At small eye kit from Daniel Stahl, 66 58. And you can see there that motion he's making with his hand. I think he's indicating there there's, there's more to come at the point of release. He can put more into it, but that will settle his nerves. Now, Miklas Alekna again, another sedate opening throw for the silver medalist from last year. Just over towards the right-hand side of the sector. It does land in. It is a valid throw. But Miklas Alekna, it's been an up-and-down season for me. Alekna was very, very busy last year. Full collegiate season and then took a silver in Eugene, a gold in Munich. And he opened up in April very well with 71 metres. I'm the youngest athlete ever to throw over 71 and, and but then he lost the NCAA championships he's only third there bounced back took the gold medal at the European under 23 championships bettering the championship mark of Christian Che there we go all three of them up in the top three where but he needs to deliver now back to Pedrick Dakas in the men's discus he's down in sixth place at the moment Jamaican has been on the podium before it's silver in Doha and Bit unbalanced there for me. You can see him falling backwards, and you want to have all your power and balance, and you're transferring all of that speed, all that rotation into the discus. And Dakas there, as he just dropped back a tiny bit, you're going to lose momentum. Just get his torso, his body weight a tiny bit further forward. You can see him stumbling back across the circle. Great to see two Jamaicans, Smikil and Dakas here. Well, I take it all back. I did this from 1500. It was a Daniel Stahl trying to get his hands on another global medal. He's down in fifth place now. 66, 58, his best. Just a bit. He likes that, Daniel Stahl. We can hear the roar. That's gone out over 80 metres. Is that going to challenge the lead of Christian Che? 69, 27 for the Slovenian at the moment from the second round. Stahl likes that. And it has been measured 69-37 for Daniel Stahl in the fourth round. The big Swede, the Olympic champion, top of the pile at the moment by just 10 centimetres. Miklos Alekna, 67 metres so far. He's got another four metres in his locker. He liked that as well. It looked understated to me. It's gone out over 80 metres. These men are warming up into this competition. And Lechner has perhaps questions over fatigue this season after a fantastic 2022. And flashes of brilliance from Lechner with that 71 metre throw. And maybe, maybe, maybe making a choice whether it be mentally or physically to focus in on Budapest. Come the final, it's going to be a great race. Round six here in the final. We're into the final three throws. We have our medalists decided. Miklos Alekna trying to stretch out to see if he can improve to a bronze. It was silver for him last time round. I don't think that's going to improve his placing, but well done, Miklos Alekna. It's been a long, busy season for this young man. And to get himself onto a podium, to make it another European podium. Matthew Denny of Australia did his very best to a national record that was just enough for fourth Alekna has to settle for bronze the battle is on between Christian Czech and Daniel Stahl for the global title it was Czech's last year round Che will be desperate desperate to regain the gold medal he said I'll be happy if I throw 71 meters that's what I know I'm capable of and whatever that brings me I'll be content with, but at the moment, he's only got 69.27. He's roaring his javelins, it's a discus down the field. That is past the 
graphic on the line. It could be for the gold medal line. It's right on the 70 meter mark. That'll surpass the 69.39 of Daniel Stoll. Christian Che with his final effort up into the gold medal position. Daniel Stoll just trying to compose himself behind. What a pressure throw from Che. He can let all that emotion out. He's not got to throw again. He has brought the pressure here at the final stage. His coach, Kurt Cantor, will be in the stands, the Olympic champion, the world champion, roaring on his charge. A pair of numbers, gold on the front as defending champion, green on the back as world lead. Came into this sixth and final race, round in silver medal position. He's gone out over 70 metres. That gives him the lead at the moment. Daniel Stahl, very capable of doing this he's thrown 71 meters this season but he's got to do it here in his last glance attempt Christian Czech will stand over on the infield and watch can Daniel Stahl have the last laugh here head to heads they've been very closely matched this season between Stahl and Czech the Slovenian coming out on top on the bigger competitions on the Diamond Leagues and here we are on the biggest stage he's but the pressure on Stahl with his sixth and final effort. Stahl cheers it down the field. It's over 70 metres. Daniel Stahl over the championship record mark of Christian Che last season, 71-13. Wow, Daniel Stahl, if he's done that in his last thing, look where the man standing. Daniel Stahl saying, look, hurry up, I'll come down and help if you want. But Stahl, we are going to see this man bounce around when he sees the mark. 71-36, he takes the strong man pose on the, on the floor, Daniel Stahl. That is a big, big, big effort. A wonderful throw, what a moment. These men are so entertaining in the heavy throws. They pushed each other all the way to the line. And Daniel Stahl with his last effort, bringing the heat when it mattered. That's a metre and a half further than he's thrown the whole competition. Been a coaching change this season for uh, Daniel Stoll as well. And the uh, Swedish coaching team in tears down there. That was incredible. He has stood on the shoulders of giants and delivered the biggest discus throw the World Championship has ever seen. <laughs> he said, I can't quite. It was Kaiser Berthfuss, that was the name I was trying to get, the woman in tears on the shot. She's actually the head national coach of Sweden now. They're an incredibly close-knit team. They, they say their mantra is that all of you are important. We see all of you in all of your competitions. And I think the tears from the national head coach when you take a gold medal shows the passion. And Daniel Stoll, it was a disappointing year for him last year. He was off the podium here. In, U in Eugene last time round, he missed the podium in Munich as well, and he's turned his fortunes around back on the top of the table. Olympic champion last time round, and going into Olympic year in Paris on top of the global podium. Fantastic! How entertaining was that? There's the confirmed firm result. Stahl, a championship record, 71.46. Christian Czech, 70.02 for silver. Miklos Alekna, 78.85. The same podium we had in Eugene last year, but a different order some great throwing from the men behind as well. What a way to do it. Denny misses out with a national record.